I did get the update of the town um, GIS, and I will tell you it's not perfect. Is this the one that Lisa was working on? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Al, if you could sure. save those, because those, those are great. Oh, okay. Those are terrific. Um, I have handouts for my colleagues that are in front of us ahead to do this. <clears throat> Looking at what we have available to us from municipal land, it's municipal use, recreation, conservation, or school. I have some other questions too. Or town hall. Or town hall, yeah. Or the cemetery is the town hall building. There are a number of parcels. Uh, if you want to look at the what, are the, what is the color coding? I have to read it. This was this this pink or whatever color this is. That's is town owned land. Is it town owned? Does it designate does it differentiate between between municipal and conservation? Conservation is the is this. Okay. Okay. So it's a straight municipal. That's recreation. Uh, now what I did, and it's difficult to read, I put I numbered these parcels because they're if there's not a building or a parcel of land in town, the address is zero. Right. That's right. So you can't find them. You know, right. zero church, there are three zero church right. streets. Right. It's, <laughs> so, it's a real pain. Yeah. So these are, these are the numbers. The column on the left is the key number that goes to the red, sorry, it goes to the red crayon marks that I stuck on these. So you can correlate that list, which tells you the acreage and all kinds of other stuff, to these parcels. So this parcel, this is the golf course, 24. This is Park Road. This is a 0.9 acre parcel that is sitting out there against the yeah. yeah. These are two parcels, but they're isolated by the oh. interchanges. Yeah. Yeah. 128 and, uh, the mass pipe. This is all school property. And my, one of the questions I had on this one was, there's a comment handed by John Field that said, oh, you, school property, you can't build houses. My question is, why? That's yeah. not true. If we have property, why can't we build houses? Lexington's been doing it for years. They've been yeah. using parts they've been of their school their property. Existing yeah. Schools. Yeah. Right. Look so, at Rick's school. So that's why I reopened that up saying, I don't believe that. He's saying it's an existing school? Yeah. So it's Middle school. Yeah. No, but they were doing that in Lexington, too. Uh, on the existing mm -hmm. school. Oh, yes. Yeah. Land. Um, so. Parcel number seven is interesting. That is a yeah. water tank that's being demolished this year. <laughs> Which tank is that? Is that mm -hmm. a hot? The water department. Water department. Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where it's is it? Deer Park. Is that? Black Oak. Uh, black Oak. Yeah. No, it's gone. That's a Black Oak. Yeah. And that's being mm -hmm. demolished. So the question is, do we build houses back there? That's What's the acreage on that? 1.8. Is it? I'm still like, but this this is just straight municipal land. Is that yes. what you're talking about? Yeah. Uh, municipal use. So, so if it were acquired use. for municipal water service, you have to look at how it was acquired, don't you? That's we we have to ask the question, but right. That is a possibility. Yep. yep. This is Brook School. Yep. This is the corner of um, Wellesley and Route 20. That's a three acre parcel right there. It's partially wet. Mm -hmm. But that's kind of on property there. That's the that's the green in front of the yeah. uh, in front of St. Peter's, I think, church. Right. Um, so, so if you put Brook School together with that other parcel, it's almost twenty acres. Right. Some of it's wet. This is green power? Yes. yes. Now, see, that's interesting too because this is community garden. Yep. Yeah. And that's Marion Village right there. This is community garden. Yep. Not that we want to stick them all up in one location, which we don't. But this is a different entity, I guess. There's a, this is green power or something. Somebody else cultivates those fields. It's not part of the community gardens. Hmm. Wasn't well, green power part of some kind of link of the Concom? It was somehow linked with land sale. Is what it was the pre the predecessor of Landsay, but I don't know if it still exists as an entity. The cons kind of oversees those. So. Yeah. But, but it's, it's not, not conservation land. Right. 
So but it, that land it's it's is general purpose in. land, but the conservation commission oversees the conservation commission staff oversees the urban gardens in that location. Mm -hmm. You know, just a, a quick anecdote. Back in the early eighties, I worked with Polly Trumbull on the league on the affordable housing study. We uh, we targeted this as a site and uh, it was the case of these people for uh, it was it wasn't received well, but it, it you know. Something to look at again. That was I guess one said. of the things, if you can get your eyes to focus, that the, the, the land that's really kind of low hanging fruit and available to us is the town owned land yeah. that's in this purple yeah. stripe. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's not much. No. no. That's the landfill. Yeah. So that's gone. Yeah. We can't put anything there. This is town green, town common. <laughs> this, is, this is cemetery. Right. These are all schools. It's, it's and really sparse. These schools, these schools are tight enough where you really couldn't get much housing in this area. Potentially up in here, but I'm not sure with the fields here if you can. Does this show the case estates? Um, yes, right, right here. there. Okay, so that's blue, but it's about yeah, 12. And, and that's yeah. only because nobody really knows exactly how to quantify it. So right. it's actually quantified here as a case estate. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's what's a this again? That's the landfill. The the landfill. The town Any. I mean, the landfill is just no. for environmental purpose. You yeah, can't use it for it's our capital. It's going to be a solar right. array. Right. 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 It's leased out for a while. 20 years. And this little square. Uh, no oh, access. That water is tank. Uh, a water tank. Yeah. It's the oh, of course. Of course. You leased that already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a piece of property we own here, which is a little bit of that. Oh, this is this. The fire station. Station. Actually, I take gravel. No, this is the, this is the old quarry. This is Joe Leone's old quarry. Oh. Uh, they, they now store gravel on it. Yeah. The town owned does it. I talked with, with Michael Herity about this one today. Mm -hmm. He thought this might be interesting. But the problem is, it's, it's well, all on the river. It's all yeah. on the It's landlocked. It's all yeah. on the Rivers Act. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, setback. So it is. Where, that, where's the, the, part, the location of the. Uh, that's Dunkin' just, Donuts. That's just one acre. Two proposition right that where they're talking about putting in the. Oh, on Route 20. Right. By the interchange. Right, right there. Right there. Right there. there. So that's the spot. Yeah. It's two acres. It's all rock, and they were proposing 140 yeah, that, that, that's, 50 that's, units. That's just a right. one point eight acres. So here's the fire station. That's uh. Well, they can't do it yeah, right the, now. The concrete fire station. Yeah. This, that's what makes this piece mm -hmm. so interesting. Absolutely. It's just there's nothing there. Correct. Um, at all. But it's not, it's not town owned. But no, no. no be, but it, 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 we'd have to get Boston property. I know. To agree to, to develop that with us, which is not a. It's, it's not, not a it's 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 just possible. developing housing, right? Isn't I mean, the solar right there for them? No. no. The, well, it's it's that's not a little, little, little piece. It's okay. not. It's not it's a not large a facility. So it is. It is there. Look yes. at the size of this, though. It's, I mean, yeah. it's, it's huge. It's a, it's Where a is their um, wastewater plant? It's 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 in the sort of yeah. right in here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Between these. Right. Between right. These right in here. Yeah. So this is Tom Green. This is Warren Avenue. That's the nine acres from Warren Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's already been developed. That's Landsate. This is uh, water department also, I believe. This guy here, he put on the list. This is a PC, which is meaningless. Um, the fire station on South on North Ave. Yeah, it's right here. It's right there. That's it. Yes, 0.09 acres. <laughs> it's the building. That's that's yeah. just over 5,000 or just under 5,000 square feet. If you wanted to convert a bunker into an affordable house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's those three pieces there are Terrace Road. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what about the one at the end, the hitching post? Yeah, that's a, that's a privately owned lot. That's that's oh, that's okay. mostly homes, but the, they're never going to sell that lot. So it's a prospect for a couple of units, it seems to me. So you can see that the, the pickings are fairly slim. Yeah. You know, when you look at it, the terrace road is only one of the three parcels that looks to be buildable. If you go in the GIS system and you put on the floodplain yeah. setback, you're going to get maybe a duplex on that. Mm -hmm. if, that property, if, if that private developer can talk about putting 160 units on two acres, mm -hmm. um, we ought to be able to come up with a solution 
on a lot more than two acres, right? We can't, but it's not going to be a hundred units on the equivalent of a hundred no. units on two acres either. No, but it, you know that's going to be ten stories tall. I mean, we're, we're not yeah. going to the town's not going to build anything that we think is just a no, horrendous, no. A horrendous but, development. So. But the, the density that's in town now is uh, is part of the reason that the houses cost so much. Mm -hmm. right? So if you get higher density and uh, you know, like the work that Al did on the using the book school land, you can get you can get buildings like that. No, I I, I don't disagree. It, it, and if I think about what some of the developers in some of the different neighborhoods are, are planning, and you know, one in North Ave is a perfect example. It's one acre of land. They're going to put five houses on. Right. So we can do that. I thought it was six houses. One point four five acres. Yeah, uh, five thousand. It's one three four, and they're not developing the back. Right. 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 right, right. They're Five developing hours. on an acre. You're They're right. developing You're on an acre. Correct. Yeah, I think at some point we've got to look at, the, at that density right. calculation. There's something, there's something really wrong with it. <laughs> right. uh, but that's for another. That's yeah. another. But all I'm saying, those are kind of the examples of right. what we're looking at. And um, yeah. one of the things about Brook School site is the fact that we already have. A configuration of buildings is two and three stories tall there, so it's kind of an acceptable right. uh, and building it, type to put right. there. It's not really acceptable for a exactly. lot of other parts of town. People are going to run screaming from it because if, if there's, some, there's a model there that they can that's look at, it's yeah. not the end of the world. Yeah, we can model yeah. that. And the stuff that's going in would be kind of behind it, you know. Well, so but but it's going to it's going to look the same and complement whatever right. is there now. Right, also. but so it's not going to be visible from no. from directly uh, visible from the street. School Street. So that might be the lowest of the low hanging. I think I, that was where I wanted to. Mm. And, and it's right in the center of town. You know, yeah. it's not. No, it's yeah. walking distance to the library. Right. Yeah, so walking distance to downtown. Right. I mean, it's a reasonable location. We still need to find. <laughs> yes. What is it, another hundred? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. So it is. Yep, it's still another hundred. So uh, I, I guess the issue is. Do we yeah, have that's the size of this? That's a real possibility. This? Oh, I don't know how, I don't know I don't know how this works with transportation. We, we, have, we, to, we have to find out what the contractual mm -hmm. obligations of this piece are. In other words, did we lease it to the state for 50 years no. and give it an no. irreversible lease? From what I understand, that's a lawyer question. There was a, there was a question that came up within the past year to authorize the selectmen to renegotiate the lease. But I don't have a direct answer about when the lease is up, so I don't know if it's up. In, was it DCR? Was it up last year or four years from now? The DCR? I don't know if it is DCR. It's, I think it probably is DCR. For the, um, the my event? sense was it was Leo G. Martin Golf Course oh, no. termination. Yeah, I bet yeah. that's DCR. Yeah. Immediate. But that's a question that we should probably figure out. Yeah, we just we need to know an answer. I didn't get a direct answer when I asked the question, so I'm not sure I'm asking the right person. I actually think I asked Donna and she wasn't sure what the status was. And if she doesn't know, then it's... Then it's really questionable. Then, then it's... What did... Uh, it's, an, it's an unknown known or something well, I'm like sure that. it's in some file somewhere. Oh, that, yeah. Uh, no, it's it's around somewhere. Yeah. It's just, we just need to... We, we need to call it up up. the attorney at PCR and say, what's the lease? Yeah, we'll, we can probably find it. We should be able to find it more readily than they can. That would be an interesting idea. <laughs> That's the South Avenue fire station. In case anybody needs to know. And Regis. Now, when you're talking about Regis East, Al, this is Regis here. Right. Is this Regis East? Yeah. Yeah, that's Regis East. It's that's on the other side of the road. Yeah, okay. That's this, that's this right. piece. Yeah, it's a big piece of property. Right that's an interesting piece right there. It's a conservation land, but mm -hmm. it plugs right into this. Yeah. Well, I thought we in the last the meeting I thought we established that the the conservation land was taken out by the legislature and everything else. Yeah, I mean that this this is a this is a nice parcel of land. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. It's you know big, contiguous, and but it has, it has to, 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 it it has to be. This is this is Regis property. So right. the, that's why I was talking to Michael today. What does Regis get out of the yeah. deal? They have Maybe to get out there and see the benefit. Long-term lease. 
Um, well, he would we, do some of it as affordable and some of it as faculty housing. Right. They probably are having problems, some of their faculty are having mm. problems finding affordable housing for themselves in the right. area. It's a constant yeah. complaint by, complaint by private schools. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I was Middlesex just took some land over and yeah. uh, built houses for their faculty. Uh -huh. Plus, they could make money on it. You know, well, they would have to. Yeah. Right. Leo J. Martin is TCR. Is it TCR? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's a good idea. Faculty housing is good. Mm -hmm. You can't, you have to do, you, you, you couldn't count, likely couldn't count those units on the SHI. But you could say that, you, you, you know, you try to do some mixed income housing, some of them being affordable. Um, and some reserved for the faculty. Because you have this affirmative marketing thing and this lottery stuff. So mm -hmm. right. those right. units right. that are kind of you know, closed referrals, yeah. you can't really you can't count, count that those. well. But there's a way of integrating them still into a development. Right, if you put a development together and have some of them That's go right. through the lottery process, That's at right. least we get those. That's right. Can you use a sewer for that? Yeah, yeah. right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And didn't we just propose doing a development of some sort? Uh, yeah. A huge one. Three hundred sixty years. Uh, yeah, that's of London stories. But, irrelevant. Right, but it shows that Regis is interested in figuring something out for that piece of yeah. land. Different administration. Different administration, <laughs> and they don't need the money anymore. Oh. Before it was that th they were doing it. At least they claimed because they. How is that, Al? <laughs> What's well, out there financial? Did the Pope come they, for them? They, in the form of boys. Yeah. They want to go away. They want to go away. Bingo. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's yeah. just an update. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very interesting development because in that, that's a case where if you build it, they did come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there are a number of other colleges where they built it and they didn't come. Mm. Yeah, they also, there were some changes in the academic program too. But they, yeah, Vassar did the same thing. Yeah. Did it help them? Well, it helped them float the boat. I'm not sure it helped them academically here. Wellesley's still on, hanging on to single sex, but. Most of the. I wouldn't say they're hanging on. on. I'd say they're pretty firmly entrenched, aren't they? Well, yeah. I mean, they're the, they're the exception to the rule. Yeah. Right. Well, Smith. Smith. Yeah, they're Mount Holyoke. Mount Holyoke. Well, Mount Holyoke is but sort of part of the. They're dwindling. Mills. I, I think no. the next is a five college system, but that, there's the next stop. step I'm going right. to do. Still because but they're still part of the five colleges. Our GIS person, Kevin, um, you know, works a little one day a week. But I think we've got this cleaned up to a point where it's, a it's better, pretty it's representative better. of conservation, recreation. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to have them run a number of that. We will. As to what <coughs> percentage <coughs> is allocated to affordable housing. We know what that is. I forwarded yeah. you the, the spreadsheet, and I have a, I'm, I have a pretty firm feeling it's a 58 acres I have assigned to that. It's pretty close. I, 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 you know, it's a while. You kind of take out all the. Really? You can only look at the land that's pretty residential, um, commercial, industrial zone. Correct. Right. Take out all the. Yes. Conservation, recreation, wow. floodplain. They have to be buildable. Water. Right. Did we say rights of way could come out? Uh, rights of way for right. rights of way. Right. 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 No, right. state, state owned land. They own that property. They own that. Yeah, they own that. But that doesn't count, right? Yes. Yeah, it yeah, comes off. Can't take it. Right. That yeah, comes off the list. So oh, I think municipal work. That and 128. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to the right of way, not just the yeah. travel way. Correct. Yes. Yeah. All that they own rights to. Mm -hmm. That's that's unbuildable land. But yeah, we're what, saying what municipal roads. Say? Oh, well. but no, no, yeah, I don't think you can count no. those because it's not buildable. You can't okay. developable land. And, and water, probably, right? Yes, water. And and the uh, the what's the agency that does all of Boston's water? MWR. MWR. They own quite a good bit of. That's a state-owned agency that comes right. off the list. Yeah. Right. So that's not eligible. Right. There's a fair amount. There is. I just don't know if we can get there. So, but I think it's worth running yeah. having the GIS folks run a number for mm -hmm. that and see, uh, see how close we get. Yeah. It could, if the question comes up, you'll have the information too. Right. 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 That's good. Okay. That's great. It's a good map. It's kind of depressing. Yeah.
Good work. Good work, Jim. Thank you. That yeah, wasn't me. Thank uh, Lisa. Actually, if anybody wants to know, as far as I'm concerned, thank Lisa for that. Kevin produced the map. Steve Fogg was involved, but it was Lisa who kind of championed getting that thing done. When she heard some of the problems with the earlier version, she said, that's just not right. She's an IT director here, so she jumped on that. Really but you're the one who figured out that it wasn't right. Yeah, well, I, yeah. It was like and also, was, Michelle presented. Yeah, Michelle presented. No, she, she was the first one to mark the thing up. Okay, so that's, so we went through book school, went through GIS. Um, 